Okay, right, in this video we're going to have a go at moving on from perspective then and trying something um, still to do with perspective but obviously not just doing squares, rectangles, cubes. The objects around you and the thing that you're going to design later on isn't probably going to be completely square. So next step we're going to look at something that's pretty much square but obviously it's got kind of rounded parts to it um, and you know it's not completely flat. So. We're going to have a go at drawing an adapter. You could have a go at something else in the classroom. Um, maybe it's a stapler or, um, I don't know, a hole punch or something like that. Again, keep it relatively simple at this stage, something relatively square like that. So, we're going to use a technique called crating. Um, and crating is basically imagining things as boxes, imagining things as squares. So, this part of the adapter obviously will be relatively easy because it is pretty much a square. This one, we're going to imagine that it's inside a sort of a, a bigger square, okay? So, first thing that we're going to do then is, so I'm going to use blue pen that we looked at earlier, is um, we're going to draw this main part of the adapter, okay? You need to decide kind of what angle you want to draw it at as well. I'm going to draw it from this kind of viewpoint just to make it uh, a little bit more interesting so there's a bit more going on. So, I'm going to have a go at drawing this first. So, in perspective, as you know, I'm going to set your two vanishing point, I'm going to put mine quite high up and I'm going to draw this low down and I'm going to start off drawing the, uh, the, the corner, corner edge of the adapter. I might just have to keep this adapter just out of shot for a second. And then all the lines like before are going towards that vanishing point. So with the blue pencil you can be a little bit kind of harsher with the lines, you, you can press on a little bit more because uh, later on when we go over it with the pencil you'll see that kind of the pencil lines pop. So I now need to get this proportion correct. You can kind of do a bit of measuring and look at it and go okay it's about an extra kind of third of the distance. Um, it's good if you can just do it by eye to see what just kind of looks okay. So this will go to the vanishing point as well. That will go off to the vanishing point. So here's the main part slowly coming through of the adapter. Um, it's got this line running through the middle where it's been manufactured. So I'll pop that in and that will help me later on as well just to find out where the centre is. The USB port, which is about well, a third of the way down. And that will go towards the vanishing point. These bits will go straight down and that will also go to the vanishing point so we end up with a, a rectangle there. So that's this part. This part then I'm going to do a similar thing imagining that it's within a box, what we call a crate. Um, I'll finish on doing the crate and then I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I've now got the, uh, the crate in, produced in blue pen, blue pencil I should say. So what we're going to do now is to start to kind of cut away at the crate to form our shape. So uh, if we start on this, on this part to begin with, so this part's fairly easy because it's pretty much a square already. The only difference is obviously the corners are slightly rounded. So on here, Rather than having a square shape, we just round off these corners like so, and a bit under there if we can see it. Same here. Okay. So if you imagine it like a square, again in 2D, what you do is we just be rounding off the corners like so. So we're doing exactly the same here, but obviously in, in two point perspective. If we have a go at this part then, this triangular part of the plug, again if we imagine that in 2D, and what it would look like within a square, this would hit, this part here would hit the top of the square, right in the centre, and then these parts here where it starts to curve, it's probably about halfway down, so again you put little points and then just start to join them up. Same on the other side, it's symmetrical. So we, we're trying to produce a shape that looks something like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. So 
going to use this as a reference point to begin with. So the centre of this line, which is about there, and we can carry that on from the line that we did earlier. The bit where it starts to curve, if you look at other parts of the shape, the curved bit happens just underneath this kind of flat surface here. So that's where the flat surface would come to in our two-point drawing. So if you have it just underneath, somewhere about there, I'm producing a straight line from there to there. It's got a rounded top to it. And then same on the other part, and it dips just below the surface. Okay, just below there. Straight down for a bit, and then a curve at the bottom. So we're coming up with a shape looking something like so. What we now want to try and do is to do this back edge here. And this back edge is obviously the same as the front edge. So we're copying what we see here onto here. So first this top line will go to the vanishing point up there. And then we're copying this back edge. And again the blue pencil just allows us to kind of play around with the line a little bit just so we can kind of feel it. Uh, this part is curved, which I didn't put in earlier, like so. And we're starting to see the shape. Because I've cut away from this crate, I can see a little bit more of this earth pin, which I can jot in. A little bit of the USB port. Okay, so you can see something like that. Next stage then is to go over it in pencil. Um, so. I'll do that now and I'll speed the video up a little bit for you. Okay, so you can see I've gone over it in pencil. So hopefully it's kind of popping off the page a little bit more. So you could leave it like that. Um, I tend to like really kind of bold lines around the outside. So if I was to leave it in pencil, I'd probably go around it a, a little bit darker and maybe kind of shade some parts in. But I'm um, going to have a look at doing it in one of the pens that we've got in school. Um, again, I tend to like the thicker ones, so I look at the 0.8 pen and basically to outline it look a bit more graphical. When you're doing this, and with any of the drawing really, it helps if you kind of spin the page around so you can get it to a, an angle that you like. Um, like so. And like we said before, you want to try and come up with kind of bold, confident lines. Um, it's not easy doing this, so it does take a bit of practice, especially when I'm trying to talk. Okay, like so. Um, doing all the outlines first, and then we'll have a look at some of the details in a moment, again, just to make it pop off the page a little bit more. Okay, so we've got it like that to begin with. Um, again, you could add colouring pencil and things. What I'm going to look at is to show you how to do a bit of hatching. So if I look at this, for instance, hopefully you can see on camera, uh, we're looking at the shadows. So this part here is in shadow. This face here is in shadow. So we're going to do some hatching on some of those parts. Um, to begin with, I'm going to do this, this kind of top edge, it goes from dark and it kind of blends into light. So what I'm going to do is parallel to an edge, I'm going to use a thick pen again, just do some lines and then gradually kind of fade them out into smaller lines. Okay, it's not necessarily going to look realistic, but it's just going to be a graphical kind of representation of it. I just realised I missed that part out there. Um, here on this face, working relatively quickly. Just going to do some parallel lines. Um, across this face. Where it's all dark. Doesn't need to be particularly neat. Remember these are just sketches. Um, it's not art that we're doing. It is kind of about communicating graphically. So we just want to try and get our ideas across for your designs later on. Okay, so relatively quick like so. Have another look. So here, as I thought, there's a little shadow being cast. Like so, probably goes down there a little bit. 
uh, in here. I imagine it'll be pretty dark. So we'll colour that whole part in black there. Uh, just to show it's kind of recessed. You can even do cross hatching on some parts if you wish. Um, just realised I missed out this little um, thumb holder there. So do another little crate. Again, just by eye, you can see if things are going off to the vanishing point. Put in that little thumb grip, like so. Go over it in pen. In fact, I'm going to do all of it. It's going to do a little bit like so. A little representation like that. Um, you can then use the smaller pen, if you wish, just to put in a few little details. Um, not too much, because sometimes you can kind of uh, overkill it. So here I'm just going to do some little kind of lines and dots just to kind of represent where kind of light might hit. And again, it's, it's not true to life. Um, it's just what just kind of looks okay. And then sometimes I might want to do around the outside, if I do this really quickly, Again, you can just do a, a dark line around the hole for the outside, um, which I just find makes it just kind of pop off the page a little bit more. So that's what we've got for it then. Um, dark lines around the outside, a little bit of hatching where it's dark. Um, so that's two point perspective using the crating method. Um, give it a go, try and find an object in class and uh, have a go this lesson. Okay, good luck.